Well, today, uh, being Monday, this is the second day of our holiday, we've decided to come down to Lidford Gorge, which is a National Trust uh, site. We've been once before, uh, it's a lovely walk around, a couple of nice waterfalls, and hopefully very picturesque. We are currently on the, the Blue Trail here at um, Lidford Gorge. Apparently it's the more challenging of the routes and they reckon on average it takes between two and a half to three hours to get around. Um, but the, the path is quite slippery today. That and given the fact that we're going to be stopping uh, vlogging and taking images, I suspect it's going to take us a lot longer than that to get right round um, but we're looking forward to seeing the White Lady waterfall again and the Devil's Cauldron. I think entrance fee here was um, I think it was £11 something each with gift aid um, which is pretty reasonable. Car parking is included in that and there are two places I believe to stop off on the route. One when you first come in has got a tea room and obviously that will be the way out. And then halfway round, there is another entrance where you can start the walk from. And again, another tea room um, in that location. So you get a nice break halfway round anyway. I think we're uh, almost halfway round now, just coming up to the uh, tea room or cafeteria, uh, just over this bridge. Um, it's taken us probably about hour and 20, hour and 30 minutes so far. Uh, but that was, I think, probably one of the, the easier stretches. Now we're coming up to the, uh, the walk alongside the river and uh, towards the main falls. Well, we've uh, made it now to the main 
waterfall here at Lidford. This is the White Lady waterfall, approximately 30 metres high, and you can see, uh, probably because of the amount of rain that we've had recently, it's actually quite, quite an impressive fall at the moment. It's quite a lot of water coming down there. I've managed to take a, a bit of a, a selfie uh, via the waterfall. But the, the amount of water that's falling from the waterfall, uh, it's really difficult to try and get any detail in the, the fall itself. Uh, I think the shot I took was at ISO 100. I think it was about F11, uh, and it was a quarter of a second. But obviously, a quarter of a second, it's just absolutely no detail in that waterfall at all. Even, even as I'm looking at it now with a naked eye, um, there's not a lot of detail in it. The, the water is moving so fast. Uh, you'd need a really fast shutter speed uh, to try and freeze that water, get any detail in it. And I don't really want to freeze it. Um, so it's a bit of a tricky shot with the amount of water that's falling, but uh, I'm quite happy with, with the one I've got. I'm down here at the moment, and I think uh, if I remember looking at last year, uh, the bridge that is just here that goes across, uh, this, this looks pretty new. And I'm pretty sure that the bridge that was there before was a wooden one. Um, and if I remember, I'll put the shot up that I took last time. That had a bit of a wooden bridge here, which actually worked really well as a, a leading line that kind of led you into the waterfall, but uh, they've replaced it with a, a nice modern metal looking uh, bridge, which I'm sure lasts a lot longer, but it doesn't look as nice. I'm hoping you can hear me over the, uh, the waterfall here. It's uh, running quite fast now. This shot I've actually set up um, the tripod on a lower position and I'm actually in the river itself. I've got it ISO 100, F11 with a circular polarizer on just to cut down the glare on the water. Uh, and it's given me an exposure time of 1.3 seconds and I'll put that up on the screen for you now. I'm just following the footpath now along uh, adjacent to the river and come along this sort of fast flowing section uh, with the water coming down um, and on the, the bank here is some quite nice autumnal coloured leaves so I've actually stopped, got the tripod set up quite low uh, with a circular polarizer on just to try and cut some of the reflection off the water and uh, try and enhance and bring out some of the autumnal colours in in the leaves against the dark rock. Uh, this image, I've actually got it at ISO 100 with a circular polarizer. Um, it's F11 and it gave me an exposure time of six seconds and I'll, uh, I'll put it up on the screen for you now. It really has been a lovely walk around Lidford Gorge. Um, we hadn't realised I'd spent nearly an hour trying to photograph the main fall, and time has really kind of whipped away all day. I think to this point it's taken us uh, a little over four hours to get to this point, and we've still got a little way to go um, to the end. We haven't yet come across the Devil's Cauldron. Um, time now is about half past four. 
gets dark about up past six ish, so we've got a couple of hours before it gets dark. Um, not that it's a major problem, it's just I've got to be a little bit mindful and stop trying to take images uh, because of the time constraints. But there, there's just so many photo opportunities here at Lidford Gorge if you're, if you're down in Devon um, on holiday or visiting. It's well worth coming because um, there are just so many images to be had here, far more than, than I've managed to show off today. But uh, really enjoying it so far, it's been a lovely day. I don't know if you can hear me over this raging torrent, but uh, you can see here on the left of frame, just here, are some handrails that uh, they provided in order for you to walk up this footpath, up past the river, and up towards, I believe, Devil's Cauldron. There's not too much further from here now. And come along this old wooden footbridge. down and underneath this cutting in the rock. And out along this little footpath up by the river. I don't know if you can hear me, but we have made it now to the Devil's Cauldron. It's a little bit of a sketchy walk on the last bit down. There is a, a handrail there to, to hold on to. Just take your time and take it easy. We finally made it all the way around Lidford Gorge. Um, took a little bit longer than the, the three hours the member of staff said. I think it took us about five and a half hours. But you know, I have stopped quite a lot along the way um, to take images and vlog those images. Um, far more images available around there than I had time to, to take. So if you're in the Devon area, certainly well worth a visit to Lidford Gorge. Um, but for now, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you liked a couple of images. Images? Images. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed viewing those couple of images. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and maybe even consider subscribing. But until next time, thanks very much for now and see you again soon.